Hi, I'm Katie from Kimberbell, and today we are going to hoop a sweatshirt. I'm going to give you some tips and tricks on hooping clothing and embroidering on different materials as well. So I've got my 5x7 hoop with my sticky back wash away. We are going to use the floating method with this sweatshirt today. Um, I find that that's the easiest for me, but whatever works best for you, you do that. Um, I've got my sticky back wash away with my centering crosshairs so I know where the center of my design is going to be and approximately where I will be floating my sweatshirt. I'm going to set that to the side for a second and just show you the sweatshirt that I have. This was just purchased at the store, um, just a regular sweatshirt. Um, and I've unpicked the side seam here like you can see. This is a little bit of a smaller shirt. Depending on the size, you might not need to unpick the whole thing, the whole length of the sweatshirt or the shirt or the pants or whatever you're sewing on. Um, but where this one's a little bit smaller to make it a little bit easier to hoop my design and make it so that the back isn't in the way. I just unpicked the whole side. Um, if it's easier, you could do both sides and just have the top attached or however that works best. But I've got that done. So I'm gonna take my hoop now. Um, and I want, this I want the design to go in the center of my sweatshirt here. So I'm gonna, I know approximately it's gonna be about there is where my hoop is going to end up on the underside of my sweatshirt. So just to keep things a little simple, let's see. I want to lay my sweatshirt flat and I've got my hoop on the inside here, you can see. And we're just going to lay that over top. And now because I've got my centering crosshairs, it might be hard to see in the video, but I can tell where my stitching is. and. Let's see, it's not quite in the center, so we're just gonna adjust that a little bit and scoot that over. The sticky back wash away is really nice for hooping this way and repositioning. It still stays sticky and then it'll wash away at the end. Some people will use cutaway when stitching on uh, clothing and that works just fine. I use wash away, that's what I've always been taught is if you're going to wear it, you're gonna wash it, so you wanna use wash away. But if it's a very stitch heavy design and you want to add some cutaway in there, um, either light mesh or a medium cutaway, that is completely up to you and that will work just as well. Um, we don't have a sticky back cutaway, so you'll wanna use pins or a spray adhesive if you're using the floating method. All right, so I've got that about centered. Um, another way you could do this is you could fold your shirt inside out and then place your shirt that way. Um, that will work just as well. So I've got that nice and adhered. And because my seams are unstitched, I can fold my shirt out of the way and when we embroider on it, all of my excess material is gonna be outside from under the hoop so I don't have to worry about that getting in the way. Um, I am just gonna tape this excess up. You can use pins, you could use paper tape, whatever works better for you. Um, I just have paper tape here with me today so what I'm gonna do is just kinda bunch all of this up and tape and there we go, we'll get that out of the way then I really don't have to worry about it getting underneath my hoop by accident and stitching on it all right we're going to take this to, to the machine and I'm going to be stitching today our choose kindness design from the spread kindness downloads that you can find on our website there's lots of cute designs they work great for any sort of applique project you want to do um any of our blanks will work great with these designs and any hats or shirts or anything that you want to put them on. They are in the 5x7 and the 4x4 
design size, so they'll work on most things. But I've got my file loaded, let's go ahead and get stitching. When you are stitching on a material like this, it's pretty stretchy knit, and I want to make sure that all of my stitches stay on top of the material. I don't want them to go underneath. I don't want them to sink into the material at all, so I'm using a wash away, our wash away topping. Um, it's a little rough on one side, so it's gonna help it grip the fabric so it's not sliding as much. And then it's um, pretty smooth on the other side, so the, the thread and the needle will just glide right over it. I'm gonna tape that in place over top where my design will go. Um, even though I have applique pieces, I'm gonna wash this piece later, so I know that it's all gonna wash out. All right, and now that we have our design finished, I'm gonna remove the tape. And here where I've got my wash away topping, I'm just gonna remove as much of it as I can and whatever I can't get just by tearing it away, I'll just wash it. This is a sweatshirt, so it can go right in the washing machine. Um, yeah, I won't worry about removing too much or removing all of it. Let's get all the tape off. All right, and then to, to remove our hoop, um, I've just got a, my stabilizer hooped and everything right now. Let's go ahead and take our hoop off of our design. There we go. Set that aside, we're done with it. And then our stabilizer here, we're just gonna trim as close as or as close to this design as we can. I usually go about an eighth of an inch away. And just be really careful not to trim your fabric here. Make sure that that is well out of the way. All right, to remove, to remove the stabilizer, you can just soak it in cool water, you can rinse it in cool water and just let it air dry before you sew it together. Or um, you can sew your side seam back together. Just make sure you sew right sides together and rinse the majority of it off and throw it in the washing machine um, just make sure you're, you follow the directions on the clothing item and the rest of that stabilizer will come off. That is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for joining me for this tutorial. Please feel free to reach out if you have any questions and I hope you enjoy making your spread kindness designs. Thanks for joining.